What's up guys, what's going on? Sorry, sorry for another video, and today, well, if you'd noticed yesterday I did post an Alpha 7 update video, so today, we're starting a new season in my 7 Days to Die playthrough, and we got some zombies spawning nearby. Oh god, that's, that's bad. So we're gonna go ahead and want to try to loot this freaking car, and okay, they kind of detected us. Well, let's see how quickly we can open this. It takes freaking 10 seconds because they did add a loot system, so they better hurry up so I can grab some of this stuff because those zombies are getting kind of close. This is bad. Let's go. There's nothing in the car. Shit. Alright, well, looks like we're going to be going a bit scarce on loot. That zombie looks like a derp when he's walking around, but like I said, we are starting a new season of 7 Days to Die. And this is going to be season... I want to say season 4 or 5. I think it's season 5. And we're going to be starting an entirely new playthrough because the last season was starting to wind down a little bit. And I want to keep it as exciting as possible. And these freaking zombies right here. Jesus Christ. They walk like derps now. Like, do you see this? It's kind of funny. Uh, let's see. How long does it take to open this? Okay, let's take that. Uh, decomposing backpack. Go, 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 go. Nothing in there. They're moving the car. Oh, God. Okay, well, there's, there's a, like, purse right there that I want to grab, but the entire, like, zombie army is after me, and we gotta, we gotta solve this a little bit. So we're just gonna let them stampede on towards us. Jesus Christ, they look so stupid. Honestly. They look so stupid. Come on. We're just gonna let them stampede on towards us for a little bit. And hopefully we can make a dash, mad dash for that backpack. Have to re-kite them a little bit. So let's just do some kiting here. Just aggro everyone and their moms on us. Okay. We got the kiting, we got the kiting. Okay, now this is the time where we book it. Get to the bag. It's a purse. Freaking open up the purse. Nothing in the purse. Check the corpse. Anything in the corpse? Yes, there is. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We're done with that. We're gonna start picking up some rocks, too. Because we can use these as distractions for... Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, if you want to if you want to know about all the stuff I added in, or all the stuff that Alpha 7 added in, watch the update video. I'm, I can't really go over too much of the stuff it did add, because there is quite a little bit and, uh, I mean, it's looking like an awesome update. And I should probably start, like, punching one of these trees down. I think that's about right. Oh, God, I could have picked up those blueberries. God damn it. Of course I run them over. Okay, well, let's start punching this. This is a really hollow tree. Oh, yeah, that might be part of the updated textures thing. And yeah, we just got to go ahead and break this thing. Hopefully no zombies notice us. Notice us, that'd be good. And then we're going to start heading towards the direction of a general house. And try to solve our problems from there. I mean, is this is this shit even breaking? Come on, tree, tree. I don't I don't think I don't think anything is literally like. Okay. If we examine the tree, looks like nothing's happened. Okay, I'm out. I'm not dealing with that. Uh, there's some zombies nearby. Okay, we gotta look at the map. Which way are we gonna go? Okay, we're going up north. Hopefully, we can find something in that uh, log cabin area place and we need to find some guns because right now we're kind of we do not have guns it is bad it is bad and this update it, i'm thinking we need to be a lot more stealthy in this update than before because a lot of the stuff they did change makes the game a lot more kind of stealth oriented that guy's aggroed on me but it's okay he can he can aggro all he wants i'm just grabbing all this stuff and then i'm I'm freaking booking it. Um, okay, so these guys are just kind of, they're just kind of following me. But it's okay. I don't, I don't care. Oh, is that a bag? Yes, that's a bag. Might be some good stuff in there. Also, it seems I just saw some noise coming from that area. That could be bad. Anything in the sports bag? Oh, we got a hunting knife. Okay, okay, this is good. This is good. We're just gonna go ahead and plop this in our inventory so we have something to defend ourselves with. Get rid of the rocks. We have a little bit of food and a little bit of water. But now the important part is we want to get into this place without dying. So we're just going to go ahead and start crouching. We want to stay undetected during this. Actually, I might want to go ahead and craft a couple small rocks. Because here we have some stone. And... Uh, okay, let's uh, just craft as much stone as possible. It's going to take us... Oh my god. That's a long crafting time to craft all this stone. I forgot about that, that they added crafting time. So now we get to wait and watch as the stone is just magnificently crafted yeah uh if seven days to die devs if you are watching this because i know you aren't so no one's even going to care about what i say but if you could make this an option like in toggleable option i think that'd be good because you know the hardcore people could still have it but 
like people who are maybe doing a YouTube playthrough, don't really have to worry about doing this. Also, uh, anyone wondering about the settings, it is on level 3, so normal difficulty, but I did go ahead and send sets of the time to be uh, 50 minute day cycles. Uh, small rocks, okay. How many small rocks? It's just... Let's make let's make a couple small rocks. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm so used to just grabbing onto that and then clicking the craft button. That's obviously not the case anymore. And, oh, we got a nice amount of small rocks. We should be able to use this to distract a little bit. This will be nice. Because what you can do here is you can actually... Now that we are done with that, we do want to sneak into this place, but... We don't want to draw the zombies towards us. That's the problem. So... You can see a zombie over there. We're going to go ahead and uh, throw that. Oh, God. Okay, we want to throw that a little bit farther, I guess. Boop. Oh, oh my God. Baseball arm. And we want to distract them from us so we can sneak on in here. So it's kind of become like a Tom Clancy game, for lack of better wording. And hopefully we can sneak on in, and hopefully these zombies don't realize that we are inside this place. Okay, let's just exit that. Try to make as little noise as possible. They're, they're like breaking some shit down. Let's just try to open everything stealthily. Not make too much noise. And we got a book. Okay, we got some 10mm bullets. Hopefully they don't start coming for us. That'd be bad. Uh, ooh, medicine cabinet. Medicine cabinet's good. Uh, oh, lots of cloth fragments. Yes, that will be... It's actually great for many reasons cloth fragments are just in general awesome can I, can I pick up this toilet or no I think I can pick it up I used to be able to pick it up uh, I definitely want to sneak around because this game they actually they will they will start hunting you down going to close that door behind us don't want them coming for us that'd be terrible Ooh, another medicine camp oh got a safe I think it takes a while to open a safe though that's kind of the problem and they might not even have anything in it because you have to quote unquote safe crack it. So let's open that up. Let's open up these things, see what we get. So the game, it's kinda with this edition, massive, massive overhaul. Also, I think taking all is actually louder than uh, just doing it by uh, by hand. So I, I think I'm gonna actually try to do it by hand. Don't wanna attract too many zombies here, so when you do it by hand, it's a lot quieter. Also, we can go ahead and craft our knives together. Go ahead and make one good one. It's gonna take a couple seconds. Hopefully it's not too loud. Hopefully it don't start coming for us. And we have our little knife there. And now we have this safe. And if it is like one of those stupid two-minute safes that Cage was talking about yesterday, I'm going to be very mad. Well, no, it's actually a minute long, and we are sensed. Oh god, this is bad. I swear to God, some zombies come up here. It's gonna be terrible. Because right now, uh, I mean, we are sensed. This is a problem. We're gonna. I think they're trying to break into the house. Uh, they're breaking into some... Okay, we're back to being undetected. That's good news. Hopefully that an... Oh, that animal better get away from... If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about what's going on there. That animal better get away from our house because zombies are usually attracted to animals. They're actually attracted to meat, if you have it in your inventory. Like, raw meat, they are attracted to. So, that's why you do want to actually go and cook it over a campfire. Because they, they added a cooking system with the campfire. I don't think it was there before. But now it is, and these zombies are, they're, oh god, they better not be breaking into this house, they might be, this is a problem, alright, well we're just gonna open up this safe, if it's empty I'm gonna like throw my mouse across the room, no, okay we have a pistol, thank you, that was, that was definitely worth it, I think they're breaking into my house, it's okay, we have ammo, we have ammo, we're just gonna go ahead and throw this thing out, we're gonna try to sneak in through the, sneak out the back, because by the sounds of it they are trying to break in right now. No, I think they're just actually... Okay, well, I want to be as careful as possible here and just sneak out through the back. And hope... Yeah, they are... Oh, shit, we're being hunted? By who? We're being hunted. Oh, God. They're, oh, shit. That guy knows where we are. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. They definitely know where we are. Okay. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, well, that guy knows where we are. Apparently he does. Freaking asshole. No, no, it's okay. You don't see us. You don't see us. I'm hiding in the dark. You don't see us. Shit, he still sees us. Okay. Well, I don't want him to follow me into a house. That'd be disastrous. So can I just, like, can I throw a rock, like, over there? And then he'll be attracted towards that? 
kind of want to throw it in a different direction. I want, I want to keep them away from me, because that's what matters. And we're definitely going to want to try to settle within... I mean, finding a safe house is going to be shit. He's coming for us. He's coming. Okay. I'm going to want to just hop on top of this and see where we want to go. So we did just loot that small house. Now we want to go to the big house. Okay. Well, that is our goal now, to go after the big house. Might as well collect a couple more rocks, too, so we can craft more rocks for stealthing. Also, to make a furnace uh, later on. And uh, from the furnace, we can cook iron and shit. But right now, we're just going to go ahead and... No one's aggroed on us, so that's amazing news. And we want to go ahead and stealth our way into that. However, stealth is not really my middle name, but I've been I've been practicing up in that thief thief game I'm playing, so I mean we might we might be able to pull some wizardry here. As long as we don't attract anything, so Okay, let's just go once we have close enough, let's go into crouch mode. Uh we're gonna peek into there. Hopefully there's like no one in there. That'd be bad. Let's peek in. Okay, it's looking pretty safe. We just have to find a way in. Oh shit, I think the way in is actually... Ooh. I think the way in is like on the side where the zombies are. Okay. Well then. This is going to be a bit troublesome. Because we want to get them away from there. So, okay, so what I'm thinking we can do here is we're just going to walk on over here. And what I'm going to try to do is if there are actually zombies here I'm gonna go ahead and try to distract them and not look towards my direction. Oh, looks like they've they're trying to get into the house right now, so. Okay. Let's go ahead and throw that over there. And hopefully that draws zombies towards them. Okay, yeah, just stay away from me. Nothing to see by me. Uh the door's been broken into. That's a bad sign. I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up though for later usage. And hopefully we don't get followed into here. That'd be bad. Pile of garbage. Uh, let's go ahead and take that cloth. I would do the take all, but again, I don't want to really attract any zombies towards me. That's kind of what I'm trying to prevent here. Uh, let's take the book. That'll be a good usage of paper. And we got some trash cans. Ooh, got an oil barrel. Gonna want to pick that up. Also, I think uh, I heard someone talking about it yesterday. Apparently, the stealth system. If you get a stealth slash sneak attack. On someone, it actually does bonus damage, kind of like Skyrim, so that's that's awesome. Ooh, Brass Trophy, we'll be able to craft that down. A uh, Glass Pane, we'll be able to craft that into glass, and hopefully a glass jar eventually. Scrap Iron and Paper, okay. Got a nice amount of scrap iron, to be able to get some ingots going. Gonna go ahead and pick that up, and now, we want to go ahead and get up here. And there are quite a few desks, I don't see any wall safes, so no intense safe cracking necessary. Uh, these desks, though, they used to have awesome loot. I don't really think they do anymore, which is unfortunate, to say the least. We have some awkwardly placed cupboards. I think that's the best way of describing it. We have a fridge. Definitely gonna open that up. Ooh, got that and some dog food. And no one's noticed us yet. That's great news. We're still undetected for the most part, and we are looting this thing like a freaking stealth mission. Uh, they're atta they are right now, like, attacking the old house we were in, so... I mean, good thing we decided to come here first. We got some cornmeal and some pasta. It's gonna be nice for some food supplies. And then this cupboard, what do we have in here? We got some potato seeds and some bottled water. Okay, so as long as we don't have any, like, open meat, like venison on us, I think we'll be fine for the most part. Because that's mostly what attracts them. Ooh, we got a lead car battery, a pickaxe, another glass pane, and a car air filter. Well, that car battery is gonna be awesome for crafting lead. And we also have a pickaxe for mining already actually great news we got some more glass jars and some more water let's go ahead and stack shit no 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 let's pick that back up and now let's go ahead and oh okay so it was picked up into there also if we die we will kind of lose everything we have so dying is a bad op did I, did I loot the fridge i i feel like i didn't but i did yeah i, I looted it okay now we want to get the hell out of here and if we if we are gonna head anywhere i think we should go uh, up there, because this is, actually this could be a somewhat safe place to hold out, but we still have plenty of time, so we might be able to find another place, so right now we want to sneak out, definitely want to draw attention away from us, so what we're going to do really quickly is, uh, no, 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 you don't see anything, Mr. Hunted Guy, no, no, okay, I didn't throw that far enough, apparently, out there, go, oh no, it's freaking like bouncing off the tip of the roof, okay, 
Well, they've been distracted, so... Okay, you know what? Why am I crouching anymore? We're booking it. We don't need to loot any more houses. We're out. Oh, we have cars to loot. Okay, let's loot the cars really quick. Wow. There's a big-ass zombie already. All right, we're going to loot the cars, and we're going to start booking it. That's what we're going to do. Uh, yeah, take all. I don't... I, f I forgot. I don't give a shit anymore. We are in book it mode. So it's not nighttime. We got to get in the house by nighttime. So we have about five hours. So we should be able to make it to one of those houses. Because they're not super far away. I almost said uber far away. I mean, that yeah, that house up there. We're going to go ahead and try to hold out up there. I think that's a good plan of action. But I think I've been recording for long enough today. And I do want to get this video out as soon as possible. Is that a, is that a landmine? What the... Oh, no, it's a purse. Okay, I was about to say, uh, why, is there, why is there a landmine here? But Okay, so I think that's going to be enough for now. Actually, there's a car. Now I need to loot the car. Well, for the most part, I think that's going to be enough for now. Uh, hopefully, we do do more 7 Days to Die. And a car radiator, nice. So, yeah, hopefully we do do more 7 Days to Die. I definitely will. Hopefully, this new season will be more exciting. But from what I've heard, the new update's pretty rage-inducing. But we have a pistol. We have 87 bullets. So I think we'll... I think we'll be fine, but safes are going to be kind of key, so whenever we do get back, we're going to go ahead and try to loot that, loot this house up this little dirt road up here, and I mean, other than that, this is going to be Star Snipe, signing out, love you guys.